Morning everyone, Tuesday. How have we been? Have we been good this week so far? So remember we obviously going through technique Tuesdays. Last week was the shoulder mobility. So now we're going to work on the middle of the back. So that T-spine, so we're trying to get that moving better. So I'll use this one a lot uh, during our classes, especially when we're in between sets, just to get people moving better and release tension out of the body. So always work on that flexibility is the most important thing to get us moving better. So this one here, all you're gonna do is kneel down. So when we kneel down, I've got a mat for my knee, because the floor's a bit hard, use a cushion at home. What I wanna do is, uh, my right leg is obviously uh, bent, and then I'm gonna put my heel of my right foot in one of my knee of my left, okay? So I wanna keep that fixed, as wide base, so you balance, but obviously you want that line there, so I'm gonna keep that quite narrow, because we wanna take out that lower back and work on the middle of the back. My right hand, will come down, it's on the inside of my ankle. Okay, so that range will be wherever you be. So if you get your knuckles down, great. If you're just on the fingertips, great. It's not a problem, as long as we're staying fixed in that position, so lock your elbow against. So from there, all I'm gonna do, my other hand's gonna come in, it's gonna touch hands. So at this point, I'm gonna breathe in, and then I'm gonna breathe out, I'm gonna rotate away from me. I'm gonna take my hand away from my head, and I'm gonna breathe out. Now I'm gonna try and, move through my back first of all. So I'm trying to rotate through the back, and then as I come up, now I'm gonna start rotating a little bit more, I'm gonna force it, and I'm gonna push, and I'm breathing out at this point. So I'm really trying to come away from my head. So you can see my range, my hand should be a little bit higher, so I can see that in the, in the phone. So I'm gonna to wanna to be there in line as much as I can. Just relax your head and breathe out. So I'm rotating away from my body, okay? So I'm rotating outwards. So I'm off for the stretch, front of the shoulder here, round around the chest, the pecs onto the armpit, that's okay. And whew, breathe out, rotating through the back. Hold that for a couple of seconds. Try and force it a little bit more. And then come down again. Okay, so touch hands again. So what I'm trying to do is every time, I'm gonna, it's quite hard, I'm, I'm forcing my body to do something it doesn't naturally want to do. So we get the upper back moving better. So touch hands again, breathe in and move through the back, move through the back, move through the back, move through the back. And then open up through the shoulder, keep rotating outwards and then come up. Don't try and pull the hand, pull the back. Come up there, open up, hold it, a little bit more and then come down again. So this is, you work into fatigue, don't worry about how many reps you're gonna be doing, just literally work to fatigue. So if you get three to four reps out, it's not a problem. The less tension you hold in the body, the more you better come round. And then as soon as you get to start getting eight reps, increasing the range as we go through, and then we can obviously look at changing size. So do three to four sets of this. You can do it at home, when you come home from work. Do it in between your training sessions, if you know you've got less mobility in your upper back, and very tight around the shoulder. Do it first thing, first thing in the morning. Obviously when you've done your shoulder ability, you walk your floor angels, and then work the upper back. Try those two together, see where we can release tension around the shoulders, get better mobility in the shoulders, get them working better, better range, and then get the upper back moving. So those two joints working better, we'll get you better range, release tension in the upper back and the shoulders, you won't be so hunched over, okay? And tight around those areas like we do get when we're sitting down a lot during the day, especially at work doing central jobs. Give it a go. Let me know how you get on, guys. And I'll show you next week a different one. So have a great day. I'll see you all guys very soon. My name's Mark Carl. This is Have A Hard Fitness. Thank you for watching. Bye.